Hey guys, well, I'm here in the hospital now. I just posted my 38 week pregnancy update video and uh, a couple things happened over the last few days that uh, led me to being induced today. So anyway, hopefully we'll have a baby today. I'm all hooked up, um, having some contractions. They have me on an oxytocin drip and I have the balloon in. For any of you who have had that lovely experience already, that's what's going on. Well, I just got my epidural. I'm like four centimeters dilated. And I'm very, very comfortable, surprisingly. Jeff is still eating. Hi guys, I am five days postpartum and I'm just coming on here for a little bit of context because I didn't film the actual labor for a couple of reasons. Um, the reason number one is that I'm terrified of labor and um, after everything I've been through over the last couple of years, I had a lot of fear surrounding you know, the outcome of the birth of this baby. Um, so I found it very, very physically and mentally challenging and I ended up with a fourth degree tear. So if you don't know what that is, um, don't Google it. I am gonna do a sit down video where I talk in detail about my labor and my induction. One thing I am going to say is that a lot of people say that being induced is a lot more like tortuous and harder on your body and it's like very violent and whatever. Um, but this labor was identical to the labor that I had uh, with my first child, like with my son. And in that one, I went into labor naturally. So I labored for approximately 12 hours. I pushed for approximately 35 minutes. Um, and it felt, everything about it felt very similar, except that one of them, um, I went into labor on my own, and the other one was induced with a combination of the balloon and medication. Hank is beautiful and very healthy. And like I said, I only pushed for about 35 minutes. And uh, in this next clip, you're gonna see uh, the very first time I got to hold my new baby. And he is beautiful. PDS. Say hi, world. Hi. Hi, buddy. You were a good boy. I love him so much. Look, Will. He looks just like you. He looks like you. Don't you want to touch him? Yeah. Touch his face right now. Nice. Oh, very gentle. Very gentle, okay? Huh? Very gentle, okay? Did you miss mommy? I'm gonna come you see you. I love you. I love my babies. Oh, I love you so much. Oh. I haven't slept in mm, probably 48 hours and I just kind of kicked out all of my company. Even my husband, I sent, sent my husband home with my three year old for a little while and I'm gonna try to sleep while Hank is sleeping. I ended up having to have uh, an induction kind of quickly and, and again, there's like a kind of like a big story. Um, and I, my labor wasn't that bad, but I ended up with a really bad tear. Um, so I'm just really uncomfortable. I'm really tired. Um, I didn't sleep at all last night because my adrenaline was just going full force. But um, he is here. Hendrick Lawrence Hardy is here. Little Hank. It's night number two, not even 24 hours since the baby was born. And um, you'll probably notice a lot that in this vlog, I don't have a voice, but um, it's just because my throat is like kind of scratchy and I can't clear it because my swelling and like my tearing is so bad that I can't like blow my nose or cough because it's like extremely 
painful. So I'm just like a little scratchy and a little bit phlegmy. So I apologize for my voice. But um, it is 2 a.m. right now. And I've just been waking up every like three hours to get up and feed the baby. I'm here by myself. I actually sent Jeff home to spend the night with Wilson. He spent the first night with me in the hospital. Um, but I've had so many visitors and so many people around. I just thought it would be nice for my first night of me um, getting up every couple hours and feeding the baby. It would be nice to have time. That was just me and him. So, so far so good. The hardest part for me is getting in and out of bed and getting him out of the bassinet because I'm very, very sore. Um, not just, you know, down there. Uh, like, my arms are sore, my legs are sore. Everything is sore from, just from the delivery. Like, you literally use every muscle in your entire body to push that baby out. And I feel like I pulled every muscle in my body. But anyway, guys, I'm just gonna... He's waking up. I can hear him kind of cooing and cawing. And uh, I'm just gonna get him out of his little bassinet and feed him and I'll see you guys in the morning. Little man just passed his hearing test and he had his blood work done so he's tired. Um, and my doctor came in and saw me and she discharged us pending his blood work. So if his blood work is all good, we are going home today. We're going home today. Uh-oh, that's poop face. I hope you liked this video. I hope it was at least entertaining. If you guys have any questions or comments about anything that you saw in this video, or if you're expecting and you want to know anything about like my induction experience or anything like that, please leave it in the comment section below. My next video, I'm just gonna sit down and talk about more in depth about why I was induced and the induction process. Um, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about my tearing situation and how I am coping with that mentally and physically and kind of the recovery process because I feel like that's something that not a whole lot of women talk about and uh, not to be graphic, but I kind of have a worst case scenario situation going down there. Uh, and it has been very tough. So I do plan on talking about that more specifically in another video. But this video is all about Hank. Um, and despite everything, I am very happy to have my little boy. And I feel very, very lucky. But anyway, guys, um, I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.